Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. All right. Let's see. We'll begin here shortly. Let me get situated. Good evening. Oh, hello, Jackie. How are you? Fine, thank you, teacher. I'm going right. to turn on my camera in some minutes. Okay, no problem. No problem. Okay. Okay, well, hello, Blanca, Miguel, Freddy, Janari, Rolando, Jackie, and Good evening, Arlo. teacher. Hello. So how are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Hi, Cosme. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me see. Okay, so today is Friday, right? Are you ready for the weekend? Uh, like we normally say, you're ready for the weekend. Any of you? Are you ready or not? You want you want it to be Monday again? <laughs> yes, I am. I'm ready. <laughs> All right, great. That's awesome. That's awesome. Let me see. Okay, so actually, I start working tomorrow. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So you have to... Go to your job, right? <laughs> I have a lot of things to do. Yes, I'm pretty sure everyone does, right? Especially on weekends, we normally leave some projects for the weekend. Or if we don't, then we have a lot of free time. Let me see. There we go. Sure. What is this? Someone said something to the group. Ah. Let me go. Let me go. What about this? It's safe. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh huh. What's your favorite music? I have. <clears throat> I have a variety. I listen to. I listen to a little bit of Spanish. But I also like to listen to the 80s, right, in English, English music, a little bit of rap. And um, so I'm being straightforward, right? I'm not trying to <laughs> be straightforward, right? Tell it like it is, right? Yeah. Me then, I listen to Spanish, rap, reggaeton. <laughs> so I listen to a variety of that, right? Maybe one or two songs of country music, but that's about it. Right. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> that's about it. But that's that's what I normally listen to. That's what I have on my USB when I put it in my radio in the car when I'm driving. I just plug in the USB and it's all mixed. Yeah. Uh, it's all mixed. So let me see. I sent everyone their the work that you sent me. So whatever you sent me, that's what I that's what I analyze. And 
for the most part, the majority, uh, for the most part, it was all good, right? It was all very good. A few mistakes here and there. And if y'all, if I caught one or two, I let it be known, right? So don't think I just check, check, no más para, para mandar. No, I, I also observe, right? And there's any any minor errors where there's misspending or something, and I caught it, right? Then um, I notified you. Remember, it was like 18 of you, and it was like five different activities. <laughs> so it was a lot for me. I spent like hours spending, and then at the end, I just analyzed, and I put the ones that I had to correct the most, and I did it this morning, right? I did it this morning, some this morning, and some in the afternoon, and some this evening. So I'm, I I hope I finished everyone. If there's anyone that was left out, please let me know. But I believe um, I checked everything. No, I got my correction. Okay. All right. Let me see. Yes, I think I checked everybody. everybody. Okay. Let me um. Let me begin with. Let me show you here. What we're going to do today, we're going to do basically a little bit of the pages from your uh, manual. We're going to finish those pages today also and be ready for next week. Be ready for next week. Let me see. Okay, can you read, please, um, Janari? Okay, teacher. <clears throat> Place and promotion strategy. Group interaction. Work on manual. Friday, October 1st, 2021. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. So we're going to work in relation to place and promotion strategies, right? And those are probably the last four P's of your mix, right? We did uh, price, product. Now we're going to do place and promotion. The last two, right? Remember, you, you, you did the last activity in relation to this was pricing strategies where you did research. Today, we're going to do the same thing. But focusing on place and promotion. And then we're going to do group interaction and we're going to finish the pages of the manual that pertain to this topic. And this is class number 12. Remember, on class 15, which will be next Wednesday, I will do a little review of the homeworks, okay? And a little bit of the exam also, I'm going to take some of those questions and put them here so we can do it in class. All right. And I hope no one will be left out because I wouldn't want uh, administration calling anyone, right? You don't want any phone calls. So I'm going to make sure that you get it finished if you attend Wednesday, okay? Because after that, I have to send in the, the grades. I have to send them in, and then it all depends on, on everyone if they're going to work on it or not. We need to finish all the homeworks today. Excuse me, Freddy's? We need to finish the homeworks today. No, not today. Well, if you can advance, yes. But I'm talking about on Wednesday. That will be the last day. Oh, OK. <laughs> Wednesday is the last day. Next week, class number 15, we finish unit two. Oh, okay. We're really going to finish it before. We're really going to finish on Tuesday, unit two. So by Wednesday, you're supposed to have everything in the platform. Yeah, I'll work on it on the weekend. Oh, uh, you can, yes, that would be great. That would be great. And when then when you finish, I see it here in the platform and then I, I transmit those grades to the administration platform. Oh, okay. Then, all right. So that that is all I do. I must. I move from one. I move one grade to another platform, and that's it. 
Right. We're going to work on what page today? We're going to we're going to work. We're going to finish page this one right here. The last uh, really. not not this part. Building vocabulary. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Because this is talking about adjective with enough, and we saw all that yesterday, right? We yeah. saw a lot. Ayer hicimos bastante de esto, right? We did a lot of it. And this, eh, we can probably do this if we have time, maybe on Tuesday, like a little review. We can probably touch it here. But other than that, it's only, what, five sentences here? Four. Four. And for homework, I left like 20, right? <laughs> that was good. Yeah, so it was a lot, right? But we're going to do the vocabulary. And we are also going to do the following page, which is page 21, Teacher. right? Page 21 and page 22. Yes, Freddy. Do you use those glasses you use it for reading or you use it because uh, your, your, um, your vision it gets tired when you're reading on the computer? Uh, they're, they're for distance. For distance. Like if, if I look up close, I go like this. Para ver de cerca. To look up uh, close, I move them up. Just asking you because lately I've seen that when I'm reading on the computer and like being too much on the computer, I, I start to see like the letters kind of, I don't know, like it's hard to read it. So yeah, you, you get like, uh, you, you have, uh, your vision gets stressed out, right? Yeah. So well, there's some special glasses for that, right? Yes, there, they have some special ones in... I can tell you a specific coding that they put on the lens. It's called AR coding. Oh, okay. Okay. It's called AR coding. AR coding. This is AR significa anti reflective coding. Okay, anti-reflective so, coding. It's the uh, it's the coding that you put on the lens that looks like a greenish when the light hits. It looks mm -hmm. like a green, bluish. Like it's not it's not like you see the here the light on my lens. Yeah. When you put the coding, it diminishes that. It diminishes Ow. that. All right. Now, are they really expensive or? Mm, yes. You can yeah. if, to get lenses. You're paying extra, like sixty to to a hundred dollars extra, Ooh. depending on where you go, right? So try to look for great prices. There are many places that they send them a little bit cheaper, but I can tell you that I've seen prices really high and I've seen prices really low. I bought these pretty cheap, but these are for distance. I do not use anti-reflective coating. I don't use it because I've, I've used it before. And what it does is after a certain period of time, yeah. they get like filmy, like, like dirty and cloudy. Like it starts deteriorating the film. It's like a coating that they put. And then it starts after you clean them, clean them, they start to diminish and they get like, uh, like the, oh, I'll tell you what, the car, your car, have you seen tinted windows? Yeah. After they get old or something, they start like bubbling up and stuff like that. It, look, it looks, it looks, it looks different, right? It doesn't look clean. It looks like bubbles here, bubbles there, right? The same thing with that coating. It it starts coming off, and then it gets real film. It looks like a film. So I would, you can get it, but it doesn't last forever. Right? Okay. So maybe I need to use something else. Yeah, you you can probably just use them for that, and they're just going to be cheap. But if you get prescription, then it's going to be a little bit expensive, All right? Okay. Now these will probably look a little bit. They don't look like real bright because they're transitions. You know, when you go out in the sun, they change color. These are transitions, though, but these are only for distance. They're not for reading. I can read perfectly. But yeah, if you want to get them, you can get this. If you want to spend the money, they're called anti-reflective coating, and that comes with the lens. With the lens. Lenses. All right. 
si es algo carito ok let's let me clear this ok class yesterday we did a bunch of grammar a lot of vocabulary different tenses right and Blanca I believe you asked me about the tenses yesterday right present past perfect right progressive and we did a lot of practice on that we're going to see that again um, I believe it's on Tuesday or Monday or Tuesday I have to look at the uh, at the guide for this for this unit again but we're going to see it with nouns with basically with nouns all right so let's continue we have here page 20 we're going to start with building vocabulary can you read please it is the building vocabulary match the words or expression to their meanings very good expressions with an S, okay? Expressions. Now, building vocabulary, match the words or expressions to their meaning. So we have the vocabulary words here. Can somebody give me all the vocabulary words, Miguel? Okay, product, product design. After sales service, services, brand, futures, services, excuse me, services, brand, futures, product positioning. Very good, excellent. So we have product design, after sales services, brand, features, product positioning. Those are the vocabulary words. Okay, maybe you can look them up or if you know any of them. Please feel free to put them here. Now let's read the first one here, Carlos, the process. The process. Let me, the process. Yes, can you read please? Uh -huh. the, the, car, the characteristics of a product that describe its appearances, components and, and mm. Okay, what are you reading? The process. Ah, yes, yes. The first sentence. Yes. Yes. The process of creating an image. 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 Image, image, image of a product in the minds of a, of the consum consumers. Very good. Excellent. I the have number five. Okay. Very good. Very good, that is correct. The process of creating an image of a product in the minds of the consumers is number yes. five, Carlos said. Very good. Okay. All right, so we can put number five here, right? Um, let's continue, please. Beatriz. The use. The use of a name, terms, symbol, or design to get a product unit identified in the market. Mm -hmm. Identify. Okay. A unique, unique. A unique, unique identity. A unique. Identity. Identity. Identify. All right. Marketplace. Okay. In the marketplace, right? It's brand. I think it's brand. Okay. No. Number three, okay, very good. Yes, it's number three, right? Brand. Let me make this a little bit. Okay, so we have brand here, and then this one, right? Here, okay. Can you continue reading, please, Jackie? Characteristics. Um, 
characteristics of a product that describe its appearance, components, and capabilities. 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 Yes, oh, very good. What would that be? Um, features. Yes, right, the characteristics, right? Yes, the features. Very good, that is correct. Very good. Let's continue with the next one. I need the next reader, please. Abigail. Okay, Fabio. Yes. Can you continue, please? To create a new product to be sold by a business to its to to its customer. Mm, very good. Which one do you think it is? Uh, this one is the first. Okay, very good. To create a new product, can you say the vocabulary word? Product design. Excellent. Very good. Okay, <clears throat> Abigail, are you there? Okay, let me see. Let's finish, please, with um, Flor. Okay, uh, is the number hello? Is the last, verdad? Yes. Right it there. Yes. Yes. Okay. Flo. To help and information that is provided to customers after they have bought a particular product. Okay. And that is after sell service services services very good excellent good job there it is those are the answers those are the answers so here we're we're just enhancing our vocabulary as you can see here building vocabulary right building vocabulary so you you have it finished here and now we're going to be sold by business to Hello, Fabio, did you say something? Nothing, nothing. Uh, oh, okay. well, so. <laughs> All right. Now, let's look at the um, next page. The next page. That was just a little short vocabulary. Page 21. Page 21. Let me see. Okay, here we go. Page twenty one. Page twenty one. Let me get find someone. Rolando. Teacher, right now I'm driving. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Jarvin. Hey. Hello, teacher. Hi, can you continue, please? Label. The label, the examples, and element found in the product strategy using the question from the box. Okay, just a few observations of elements. All right, label the example of elements. Of elements, yes. Yes, all right. Okay. In a product, in a product. All right, let me see. Okay, let, can you read the first one, please? How will you distribute your product? Mm, distribute. Distribute. Uh, distribute. Distribute your product, yes. Sorry. Very good, very good, excellent. How will you distribute your product? Distribute. What is that? Distribute. It's a Latin word. It should be easy. Distribuir, right? How will you distribute? Yes. Your product. How will you distribute your product? Okay, that will be question number one. Um, next one. Next question. Um, Freddy's. 
Yes, I read it to you right now. Who are you selling to? Very good. Who are you selling to? Huh? Who are you selling to? Okay, let me see. Francisco, the third one, please. Francisco? Okay. Jackie, can you read number three, please? In what volume, value do you provide your customers? Very good, excellent. What value do you provide? It's value or value? Huh? Value? The correct pronunciation is value or value? Va value, value. Value. Yes, value, all right. What value do you provide your customers? Value. So what value do you provide your customers? Let's see, all right. The next one, um, Blanca. Yeah. Okay. Value, 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 value. Please. What are you selling? What are you selling? Yeah, very good, right? In other words, what are you selling? What What is your product, right? What do you have? Uh huh. What are you selling, right? And let me see. Okay. Jennifer, can you read the last one, please? Yes, teacher. How will you price your product? Okay. How will you price your product, right? There we're talking about pricing also, right? Very good, very good. Now, I want you to analyze these questions. So just think about them. It says, label the examples of elements found in a product strategy using the questions from the box. So based on these questions, which one do you think goes in? Number one, number two, number three, four, and five. Let's read them. Let's read the first one. Um, it is. Okay, and the first, we yes. do quality kitchen hardware for a residential kitchen customers. Okay, residential, residential. Resident, residential. Excellent, very good. So we build quality kitchen hardware for residential kitchen, kitchen customers, okay? Kitchen hardware is everything that you find in the kitchen, the cabinets, the shelves, those types of things. That is kitchen hardware or everything that I just mentioned. Number two, read please, Beatriz. Our customers are young North American families who want kitchen hardware that can stand the wear and tear of young children. Okay, tear, tear. 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 Yes, very good. Wear and tear, right? Wear and tear is a very, very good phrase used in, in the United States. The wear and tear, right? All the movement, and everything can it resist? Look at you, let's see it, right? All of the gastes is what he's talking about. Wear and tear. Wear and tear of young children, right? So when you have kids, kids like to get on the shelves, kids like to pull on things, right? And if you have things that don't last long, boom, ahí se fue la puerta, boom, ahí se cae, right? So you have things just falling apart, right? So let me see. So that's why it says that here, American, they want kitchen hardware that can stand the wear and tear of young children, right? Number three, Miguel. Okay, there are interesting interest in materials that are safe or for children and eco-friendly. Okay, they are, they are. Mm -hmm. okay. They are very good. 
They are interested in materials that are safe for children and eco-friendly, right? So, hmm, all right. Let me see number four. Freddy's. Just wait a second, let me see. Number four. We sell our product through a retail channel. All right, very good. We sell our products through a retail channel. Channel, right? Very good. Number five. Um, <laughs> Janari. Yes, teacher. Our products are priced per unit and, uh, <clears throat> sorry, and are considered high-end hardware solutions. Okay, priced, priced. <clears throat> Okay. okay, right. Very good. Now, those are five here. Our products are priced per unit and are considered high end, high end hardware solution. What do, what do you think it means by high end? High end. In entre comillas, right? High end. What do you think it means? If I say I have a high-end product, what am I referring to? Can someone tell me? Or does someone know? The speed solution? Hmm? The speed solution? Mm, okay, good try, good try. But what does high-end really mean? Like the best for now. <laughs> yes, yeah, right? Like the the top of the line, right? Yes. The top notch, like el mejor en el mercado, como dicen, right? The best in the market. <clears throat> top notch, right? High end. For example, mm. you have high end cars like, uh, like what, uh, a Lamborghini or something, right? Ferraris or uh, a Rolls Royce. Those are high end, right? Only for people that have money to buy a car like that. So those are like the they are considered high end, right? Okay, this is what I want you to do. Here, you have five questions. And I want to see if you can do this on your own. You don't have to send it to me, okay? You don't have to send it to me. I just want you to try to do it and see which question correlates with the statement. In other words, the answer. For example, number one, it says we build quality kitchen hardware for residential kitchen, uh, kitchen customers. So when someone tells you we build, right? We build quality kitchen hardware. That's what, what are you selling? Yes, what are you selling? Yes, right? Que está vendiendo. Oh, we build quality kitchen for kitchen customers, right? Yes. So number one will be, what are you selling? And then the, the statement, right? So we did the first one already. And you do the rest. You do the rest. So for number one, I'm going to put it here. The answer is, what are you selling, right? What are you selling? That will be number one. And then you can do the rest. I'm going to give you a few minutes. And you can just let me know when you finish. You do not have to send it to me, okay? We have to read, we have to write the sentence. Yes, like for example, number one will be, what are you selling? And then number two, three, four, and five. Yes, Blanca. <clears throat> just a sentence, just a question, okay? Just a question, that's it, all right? Then you can do number two, 
three, four, number five. Only the question. Let me move this over here. Then in a few minutes, I will call on some of you so you can share your answers with the class. Just give me one minute, I'm going to go get some water real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, thank you.
Okay, is everyone finished? Who hasn't finished? Okay, I guess everyone finished then, right? All right. Uh, number two, what will be number two? Um, let me see. Glenda, what will be number two? I'm sorry, teacher. I don't understand the instruction because I just uh, add a, a the class. Ah, okay. Okay. No problem. Well, thank you for joining the class. Okay. Thank you. Okay. It is. Yes, teacher. Okay. What will be number two? Number two is who, who are you selling to? Okay. Who are you selling to, right? All right. Number three. Thank you, Iris. That is correct. That is correct. Good job. Number three, Miguel. Okay, teacher. Um, for me, I put who are you selling to, but is you says number two. Mm -hmm. I think I think the number three. Um, what what value? But what what value do you provide your customer? I think. Okay. Number three is what value do you provide? Yes, very good. What value? What value do you provide your customers? Very good. Very good. Number four. Jackie? How, number four, right? Mm -hmm. How will you distribute your product? How will you distribute? How? Yes. How will you Look distribute? Okay, very good. Yes, your product, right? Your product. Because we're talking about here distribution. And then as we, we saw earlier or two days ago, we saw that you can do it through retail channels, right? Retail channels. Number five, the last one. Uh, Beatriz, can you just read it, please? Okay. Will you price your product? All right, very good. Excellent, excellent. Now we're doing this because here in a little bit, we're going to do a research activity and we're going to implement everything that we're studying into a final stage, all right? A final stage. So I hope you're paying attention. I hope you're analyzing and, and I know that some of you are doing really, really well with the with the analysis of everything that we do in class pertaining to everything in relation to marketing right because now we did products we did pricing and now we're going to focus with place and promotion and we're going to combine the two and you're going to do your own research with products and we're going to apply those strategies okay those strategies, not with price, but with place and promotion. Okay, let's go to the next part. Clear. All right. This is where it gets a little boy, a little bit more difficult. All right. This is where we start. So relax. I'm going to take the attendance. And that's like to see you. All right. Okay. 
Abigail. This is the first attendance. I didn't do the one earlier. Let me see who's here. Okay. Abigail. Okay, no answer. Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Blanca. Okay. I see your hand. Present, present. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Brenda. Okay. No answer. Carlos. Carlos. Okay, no answer. Diana. Okay, no answer. Guess it's Friday, huh? Edwin. Edwin. Okay. Flor. I see her. She's connecting right now. Flor. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Francisco. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Right. Yes. I heard you, Flor. <laughs> You're good. I heard you right now. I'm waiting for your audio. Okay. No, the, the thing is that I think that I had a bad connection, so I'm going uh, on in the in the session. I'm going out, and mm -hmm. I was out. And when I come in, you said floor. So yeah. I think that something happened. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it heard my voice. Like you want to see, right? Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Freddy's. All right. All right. Well, I hope it stays connected now, Flor. I hope you stay connected, all right? I hope everything goes good with the connection. Glenda. Present teacher. Okay, great. It is. It is. Present. All right. Let me see, Jackie. Present. Okay. Let me see, Jarvin. Present teacher. Okay, great. Okay, Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Juan Jose. Okay, no answer. Miguel. I'm here, teacher. Okay, great. Fabio. Present. Thank you. Rolando. I'm here, teacher. All right, great. And Janari. I'm here. All right. Let me see. Two, four, six. Okay. Let me see. Okay, let's continue. Get over here. All right. Fall. Fall. I like your your background, Beatriz. It's already fall, right? Otoño. Let me see. Let me see this right here. And let's let's read. Go ahead, Beatriz. Begin, please. I will be. I will be able to recognize the components of the place and promotion strategies. Strategies. Of, strategies of a famous national product or service. Very good. We are going to do this. Okay. You will be able to, I will say, be able to recognize component of place and promotion. Place and promotion of a national famous product or service. Okay. Continue, please. Um, go ahead and continue, Beatrice. Do this part right here. Okay, let's start. What is the process of moving products from the producer to the intended user goal? How important is placement to reach to reach him the right target audience? Very good. So which of the four P's would this fall under? What is the process of moving? moving products from the producer to the intended user. What is that called? 
is that product, is that price, or is that place, or is that promotion? Place, I think. Very it's... good. Yes, it is place. Excellent, right? We're talking about moving, right? Moving. We're talking about place. Right? Como cuando me estoy mudando, right? <laughs> so you, you, we're talking about place, right? We're talking about place. Now, how important, this is, I'm going, I want you to just analyze. This is your own critical thinking. How important is placement to reaching the right target audience? Placement is also in reference to the geographical area or the place or the region, the area. How important is that to reaching the right target audience? Now, audience, we're not talking about where you're singing, right? Oh, no, no, we're not talking about that audience. We're talking about basically your customers, the consumers. How important is territory, the geographics? How important is that in marketing? Is it important? Or you can just sell a product anywhere and be rich? Or is there an importance aspect to it? Can someone give me something brief, analytical? Okay, I'm going to make it a little bit more simpler, more simple. Is place important? Yes or no? Is place, is the geographics important? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. Important. Now that you say yes, why? Explain to because me Because if you have a, a strategic place, Bishop, mm -hmm. can you hear me? Sure, I can hear you. I think. Oh, okay, I think that the place is important because uh, if you have a good place, a strategic place, uh, maybe your sales in price. Okay. For example, in uh, maybe Metro Centro, if you have your store in, in a place that the people know is currently or I don't know. I don't know how do you say. I don't know um, how to say. Transitado. Okay. I don't know how do you say. I don't know how to say. I don't know how I don't to. Know how to say. Say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Very uh, good. Okay. It's a very. Concurrido. Yes. It's very. There's a lot of traffic, right? A lot of movement. A lot of movement, yes. a lot of traffic, but not traffic like in cars. We're talking about customers, right? It's, it's a very, uh, an area that is, that is what? Very, not just populated, but, but what he referred to, or Francisco was talking about, a lot of movement, movement, a lot of traffic, a lot of customers, or maybe the attractiveness, right, of the place. Is the place attractive if not, right? The, the store might be nice, right? But the area might not be as attractive, right? You're like, no, I como que no quiero entrar, right? And it's like, although when you go in, it's like a different, a, different, uh, a different feature to the eye, right? So very good, Francisco, yes. Yes, that is correct. That is totally okay. correct. Very good, very good. Any other analysis? <laughs> Beatriz, did you want to say something? Yes, uh, I think it's important the place because if you want to sell and increase your profit, you have to, you should choose a right place to sell your products. Very good, yes, right? You have to also think, right? You say you should, right? What is should? That's an advice, right? An advice, very good, you should, right? Giving someone that advice, that positive outlook, you know what, you should, right? And yes, that, that, definite, that is definitely a good example, right? Think first and 
analyze everything. Anyone else that would like to share something? Anyone else that would like to be analytical and respond to this critical thinking question? Me, Did teacher. You? All right, yes. I, in my opinion, uh, I think that a business should be located in the correct place because uh, the people are not in everywhere. Uh, you can find uh, specific people in a specific area. So the business should be located in a, a strategic place. Strategic, a strategic place. A strategic. Very good, excellent. Yes. Very good, yes, that is correct, right? I have seen businesses in different areas where they put a business and then in about six months, it's gone. Then another one comes and six months later, it's gone, right? So I tell myself, why doesn't that area hit? Why is it no Vegas area, right? Because there's other places around it that are not very good for commerce, not very good for business. Therefore, it doesn't attract people. So it's very important when we talk about place, the geographics, and where you're where you are located. Are there any buses, right? Some places that that are functioning with a lot of traffic, like Francisco said, with a lot of movement, they're very close to the bus stops bus stops or very uh, familiar areas where a lot of people uh, move. Okay, let's continue. Let's read, please. Who wants to read? Who wants to start reading this part? Just a little story, Me. a little conversation. Okay, go ahead. Okay, and um, Sophia is discussion. Is discussion. Discussing, Jennifer. Yes. You and Iris are going to read together, okay? Jennifer, you're going right after Iris. Go ahead, Iris. Sophia okay. is discussing. Sophia is discussing some ideas about the place to distribute her product. Read the conversation and take turns practicing. Practicing. Okay. Practicing. Okay. Practicing it. Practicing, practicing. it. At you join practicing it, practicing it. Practicing All right. It. All right. It is okay. Good effort. Good effort. It is good job. Now, Jennifer, you're going to be Sophia, and it is you're going to be Arnold. Go ahead, Jennifer. Okay, teacher. I would like to sell training courses online. I have oh. developed courses. Courses. Courses online i have developed a few but i'm not sure if i should get a place like a store to sell them okay very good so we have sophia here right and they're having a conversation right here and sophia's like hey i would like to sell training courses some cursos mm -hmm. de entrenamiento right training courses i have developed a few i know many of us have seen a lot of training courses on youtube right in different social medias, but I'm not sure if I should get a place like a store to sell them. Okay, it is. Okay, I think the place is actually irrelevant. You have to take advantage of access. Oh, very good. I think. What do you mean by access? Sorry, okay, teacher. you have to take advantage of access. All right, that is. I think what is referring to here. All right, Arno's like, hey, you know what? I think the, the place, the place in, in, in quotation mark is actually irrelevant. You have to take advantage of access. And let's see what she says. We're, we're going to see, okay? Uh, you're going to read it right here from, uh, from Sophia, Jennifer. What do you mean by access? Ah, it's that, right? What do you mean by access, right? Okay, Iris, read it. You could sell your training courses online. People are always using their phone to
to surf the web and learn new things. This is great because you can create our awareness about okay. your product. Awareness. 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 That's all. About your product from social networking sites and create enough interest and the course so that people will buy them. Okay, courses, courses. Courses. Very good. So there, that's the answer, right? So basically when we're talking about access, we're talking about connectivity. How fast can you connect with the customers? And that's why he's talking about online, online, okay? Everything done through a computer or a phone right that is the access the fastest way right so he's like you don't have to have a store all you need is access no man necesita acceso a la gente to the people to the customers through the internet now look at this look at this activity thank you iris and jennifer can you read please um francisco The, yes, teacher. Can you continue, please? Yes, the part three. Yes. Uh, look at the conversation and answer the question below. What is that Sophia want to see? Mm, sell. Sell, pardon. Okay. Sell. Yes, sell. What does Sophia want yeah. to sell? Yeah. What does Sophia want to sell? Does she want to Dining sell? Training courses online. Training courses. Very good, excellent, all right. Excellent, right? English courses, right? She wants to sell those courses, those training courses. Very good. What about number two? Let me see. Rolando, all right, you ready? Yes. Uh, number two, can I read the question? Yes, sir. Okay. Please. What isn't she sure about? Um, um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, let me think. Uh, um, no, um, okay. I don't know the question. I don't know the answer. Okay, the, the answer will not be in the in the reading. To get um, a place in the store. Huh? Oh uh, uh, yeah, should get a place like a store. Okay. Who 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 helped me? Okay, somebody was saying something, right? Somebody was helping Rolando. <laughs> Thank you. Well, well, Thank you, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, right? They're like, eh. Right? <laughs> Hello. Oh, let me see. Hello. No todos al mismo tiempo, right? Hello. Hello. <laughs> I was helping Rolando. Somebody was saying something, right? Somebody was saying something. All okay, right, so thank you. What is it she's sure about, right? I basically, <laughs> she's sure about the place, right? She isn't sure uh, yeah. the place or the or how to get started, right? She's yeah. not sure of how if she needs to get a place or not, right? Uh, so yeah, shit, right. She's in in that dilemma. Okay, what okay. about number three? Number three. Thank you, Rolando. What about number three? Welcome. Okay, who wants to do number three? Jackie. 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 Number three, what are Arnold's recommendations? Mm, let me see. Mm, wait me. You can sell training courses online. All right, yes. All right, yes. The the recommendation yes. that Arnold is, is pretty much emphasizing is 
online, right? And he gives a word right here, access. Access. Whenever we talk about access, we're really talking about, like I mentioned early, earlier, connectivity, internet, social media, right? That's basically what it means nowadays when we talk about access, access, access to the internet. Okay, very good, very good, excellent. Good job on this part right here. Now, we're going to do a little bit more reading before we do the final activity. But first, I have to do the second attendance. Okay, Abigail. Present. Okay. Beatriz. Present. Okay, thank you. Blanca. Present. Okay. Brenda. Okay, no answer. Carlos. Carlos. All right. Diana. Edwin. Okay, Flor. She's connecting again. Let me get over here. Let me move it. All right, so Edwin is not here yet. And Flor is connecting. Francisco? Present teacher. All right, great. Fredis? Here. All right. Glenda? <laughs> Present teacher, I'm okay. sorry. Okay, no problem. It is. Present. All right. Jackie. Present. Okay. Jarvin. Present teacher. All right. Jennifer. Present teacher. All right. Juan Jose. Okay. Miguel. Present. All right, thank you. Fabio. Present. All right. Rolando. Present, teacher. Okay, and Janari. I'm here. All right, great, great. I see you still with, uh, you have a lot of balloons, Janari. Ah? <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's continue. Okay, we were talking about, remember the four Ps? I know we've seen these and we're going to focus on place and promotion. Okay, we're going to do place. And just remember that we saw this it in the, what, on page, Yeah, it was this one right here that Beatriz read. What is the process of from producer? And that is basically here. A process of moving products is called place. Just like Beatriz said earlier, right? It's called place. Um who wants to continue reading? Okay. Today we're going to focus on reading and speaking. Jennifer, go ahead, hey. Jennifer. And Jackie, you you read the second paragraph, okay? Jennifer, continue. In, okay, teacher. In the marketing mix, the process of moving products from the producer to the intended user is called place. In other words, it is how product is bought and where is bought. This movement could be through a combination of intermediaries, such as uh, these three. Intermediary, all right. Go ahead, Inter continue. I, I will give you the, the word here in a okay. minute. Continue. Wholesalers and retailers. In addition, a newer method is the internet, which itself is a market marketplace. No. All right. Very good. Very good. Very good. Uh, could you please tell me how pronounce how can I pronounce intermediaries yes. <laughs> and these three in, in, All right. Inter. Inter, 
Inter me. Inter me. <laughs> okay. The Aries. The Aries. The Aries. Yes. And distributor, uh, the other. Okay. Distributors. 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 Yes. Distributors. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Very good. Very good. Now, as you can teacher, see, teacher, I, I would like. I would like to read the last paragraph. Okay, no problem. I will let you read the last paragraph. And continue, please, Jackie. Okay, through the use of the right place, a company can increase sales and maintain this over a longer period of time. In turn, this will, sorry, this will mean a greater share of the market and increase revenues and profits okay revenues revenues, revenues. yes revenues. 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 revenues yes okay go ahead um the last part was it rolando or something okay okay correct placement is a viral activity that is focused on reaching the right target audience at the right time. It focuses on where the business is located, okay, focus where the target focus. focuses, focuses, focuses on where the business is located, where the target market is placed, how best to connect these two, how to store goods in the interim and how to eventually transport them. All right, very good. All right, very good. Just a little bit here. Located. Lo locator. No, no, it's going to R. Located, okay. Loca located. Yes, so very good. It's with the id. Okay. Id. Located. Yes, id. Okay. Very good. Okay, thank you. Re remember that verbs? The verbs in past have three sounds, three sound endings. Three sound endings. ¿Alguien lo sabe cuáles son esos? ¿Cuáles son los tres sonidos? Ok. Uh, T sound. T. Um, e D. Can someone tell me the three sounds in verbs? I know más hay tres sonidos en los verbos en el pasado. So that way you understand that when you see a verb in past tense, there are only three correct pronunciations. There are only three. Not one, not two, there are three. Does someone know them? Uh, esto es algo de fonética, you probably don't know the e -D -T e -D. Um, I think. Okay. All right. No problem. If you don't know them, this is just a little bit of phonetic. Esto es algo de fonética. All right. So, but it's important for the proper and dominant pronunciation when we pronounce the verbs in simple past. It's very important, right? Because that def you, you get that definition at the end of the sound. You have the, the, id, id, and t, t. Esos son los tres. Okay? So when you see something like this, located is id, id, located, located. What about this one? I don't want to go off too much in the topic porque no puedo estar dando fonética, but I just want to share this with you porque lo veo bien talentoso a todos ustedes. Esto lleva la t, t sound. T, t. Worked. 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 All right? Worked. Worked. Like that. Worked. Nunca. Y se lo voy a dejar por consejo. Pues en el futuro, right? Don't say. Nunca existe el ed. Work it. All right. Never say that. Don't don't get used to it. In other words, no se use. Oh, how do you say it in Spanish? No traten de acomodarse con esa pronunciación porque es incorrecto. 
right? Do not say work it, okay? Talk it, no. Es di, di, di. It, it, and t, t. Talked, talked, worked, sounded. Aunque termine con de, sounded, sounded, id, right? With id, sounded. All right. Sound good. All right. I'm just giving you a little bit extra here. All right. There are only three pronunciations in in the endings. Me estoy refiriendo at the ending of the words. All right. So that may help you analyze a little bit better the pronunciation. And it takes practice. I understand for some of you. And what I want, what I want, remember that I, I give you, I bring to you American accent, okay? That's what I bring to you, right? So I hope you grasp it and take the advantage of me being here with you to teach you and progress, progress, because that's what I want. Por eso, Mr. Maestro, docent, para enseñar todo lo que he aprendido. All right and to make El Salvador better. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Now, these are the three points. And basically in relation to place, place. But we are going to focus on promotion. We have different types of promotion, different types, right? We have advertising, public relations, Sales promotion, personal selling, direct mail. This is post and email. Right? You post means whenever you you go to the post office or email electronic, right? Internet marketing, social media, and sponsorship. These are the types of promotions that we get in the promotional mix. So let's look at, um, okay, let's continue reading. I want to hear you. I want to, I want to hear you talk. I want to hear you pronounce here. Continue, please, Blanca. Communication. Okay, with the first one. Communication through mass media the firm will usually pay for this type of communication. The firm. Advertising. Yes. Firm. The firm, right? Basically, it's a, the firm is basically the main, for example, the main offices of the business, right? That's the firm. You also see this word, the firm, in legal terms. In legal terms, where you have a bunch of lawyers come together and they make one, one entity one entity. Okay, let's continue. Public relations. Beatriz. Public relations. Developing a positive relationship between the organization and the media and the public. Good public relationship involves not, not only creating favorable Okay, favorable, favorable. Favorable publicity through the media, but also involves minimizing the impact, the impact of negative situations. Very good. This word right here is through. 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 The, very good. Excellent. Through the media. Through. Very good. Thank you, Beatriz. Um, okay, uh, uh, Janari, continue, please. Okay. Sales promotion. Promotion designed to create a short term increase in sales. Examples of, of sales promotion include money of coupons, discount codes, and price sales. Okay, very good right here. Um, increase, increase, increase. Okay, increase in sales. So here we're talking about. Um, Promotions designed to create pretty much an increase, but only short term for the short term, short term increase in sales. 
and promotions like coupons, right? Couponers, right? How many of you have how many of you have used coupons through pedidos ya? No, yet. Not yet. But Burger King, they have. All right. They have coupons. Yeah. But, but pedidos, yeah, they, I've used already three. Three coupons in six months. Mm. Right? Where they give you discounts, like $3, $4 discounts in, in everything. Yes, I'm serious. Right? Sometimes you go to the app and you go when there is a coupones and you check there and sometimes they're there. Right? So try to check every now and then. You might have a coupon. Right? Okay. Um, I haven't received one less than $2. Everything has been two, three, and four. Let me see. Okay. Continue, please. Me, me teacher. Yes. Okay. Again. Okay. Personal selling. Um, sales interruption between the firm's representative and the and a consumer on a one-to-one -one basis. Very good. This right here, you can say it representative, or you can say it fluently representative. Representative. Uh, representative. That's all. Very okay. good. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Good job. Okay. Next one, direct mail. I'm going to read this one. I'm going to read this one and the last one so we can advance a little bit okay so you can just listen to me okay just listen to me and read along this involves sending marketing to a named individual or organization firms often buy lists of names emails and postal addresses for this purpose this can be highly effective when the direct mail recipients are within the firm's target market. Right? Now we're talking about emails, direct contact with the customers. Internet marketing, placing adverts or internet pages through programs such as Google's AdWords. These are just different ways that you can use marketing in the internet through Google. Social media. Firms place daily messages on social media, such as Facebook and Twitter, to keep customers interested in their organization. They may even run promotions, flash sales, and discounts just for their social media readers. An organization or event is paid to use your branding and logos. Sponsorship is commonly used in sporting events, players' clothing, and stadiums will be covered in the firm's branding and even the tournament may be named after the firm. Although effective sponsorship requires a large audience, you may get smaller firms interested in local business sponsoring small events in their area, for example, school fairs. So what Basically, in other words, we're talking about like we talked about a few days ago, right? Or what, last week or something, where we talked about who is going to sponsor, right? The product of a famous soccer player, Messi, a singer, what, Beyonce, what, Jennifer, who, Jennifer Lopez, whoever, right? Those are sponsorship analysis. Now, we talked about promotion. We talked about place. This is this is the activity. You are going to research any product, any product that you want. This is open for you, for for you, either as a group or individually. And you are going to research it, research the product, and explain the perfect location for example if if i have surfing boards surfing boards if i want to go in the business of selling surfing boards where would be my location where do you think would be the perfect location for me to sell that product the beach 
The beach. Or at the beach. The beach or any area that has a wa that has water, right? Anything that has a water entity, right? A beach or anywhere, right? A surfing board, right? Pretty much, but most importantly, the beach. In what promotion? Oh, <laughs> All right. And what? And your promotion strategies to sell your product. We talked about different promotions here, right? We mentioned some early personal selling. Are you going to be personally selling door to door, walking the 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 shoreline around the beach, or are you going to do public relations? Are you going to try to get involved with people or advertising internet? How are you going to do that? What are you? What are going to be your promotions? Are you going to sell the board and maybe some inflatable, I don't know, protectors for your arms or something? I don't know, some goggles, right? Those are different strategies. Or buy one, get one free, or buy one, get the snake one half price, right? Those are promotion strategies. So I want you to think of a product as a group and give the perfect location where you you consider to be the perfect place. So if I tell you, you know what, um, here I have a thousand laptops. Como que yo le diga a alguno de ustedes, tengo mil laptops, I have a thousand laptops. Donde puede usted venderlas? Where would you go? What would be the place? And what would be your promotion strategies? ¿Cuáles serían las, las estrategias de promoción para que venda el producto? Right? That is the two key elements that I want. Where? The location, the place. Right? Talking about place and your promotion strategies. Now, if, you if you're asking me, teacher, promotion strategy, eh, vimos un montón aquí. We saw a bunch here. Or you might have your own. You might have another word. Right? Family. You might have family that are connected here in other parts of Central America or in the United States. All right? So that's what I want you to do. Remember that the pro promotion strategies can be, can be at any point. I want you to remember that the promotion strategies can be in any part of the, um, of the life cycle. It could be in the introduction. It could be in the growth, in the maturity, or in the decline. You can include any, any element of the cycle, whether it be introduction. But I'd rather prefer it to be introduction, okay? Introduction. Introducing a new product. Like I said, I'm giving you a product. You, you're going to sell it. Where? Find a place. And find, give me some promotional strategies. Any questions? Now, what product? Que producto? Anyone that you want. Anyone that you want. Right? Balloons. You can put balloons, Janari, if you want. <laughs> if you want to use balloons, Janari, <laughs> you can make big balloons and say, I have a million balloons, right? Where would like balloons. Have, yeah, where would you sell them? Hey, at birthday parties, right? At baby showers, right? Yeah. What what promotion strategies would you use, right? Um, the next one, or if you refer a friend, I give you fifty percent discount, right? Parties, whatever, right? University, I mean anniversaries. And so I'm just giving you examples, okay? Any questions? Me, no. Me, uh, teacher. Yes. I I remember, for example. Uh, after to quarantine. After the quarantine. The, after for quarantine, I I remember that uh, for the how do you say fiestas patronales? Okay, let me see fiestas patronales, right? <sighs> patronales, no más aquí, right? Uh, in English, there will be. <laughs> <laughs> Right, okay. they, they, they don't really exist in American culture, right? So you can say traditional, yeah. 
traditional parties or tra no, 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 traditional celebrations oh. is more appropriate. Traditional or mm -hmm. cultural, cultural celebration. Porque mm. más cultural. So we're going to go in okay. that level, okay? Cultural celebrations. Mm -hmm. For the cultural celebration, eh, mm, some people eh, saw the balloon with lights. Yeah. Um, for the for the chais is very llamativo or good. And very appealing, um, appealing. Very appealing, appealing. Yes, yes. And, and this product is very seller. <laughs> yes, right. In 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 Asia, in Asia, like yes. I think is in many 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 countries in Asia, they do what you just said. They put the light or a little candle sometimes in the river. Sometimes they let them up in the air, right? They're very uh, traditional on that. Yes. That is cultural thing also, right? Mm -hmm. A certain part. Yes. Yes. All right. That is correct. Yes, the, the, the sellers uh, select the, the strategic place. Exactly. Because the, the, the person uh, look the, the, the product uh, llamativo. Appealing, appealing. Appealing, 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 yes. Yes, that is correct, right? It's appealing, right? Because it's like very attractive. It attracts the people. Mm. Yes, that is correct. That is correct. Now, I'm going to add, thank you, Francisco, for your input. Okay. Right? Um, it's always great to hear other, other perspectives. Very good. Excellent. Now, I'm going to ask the class. Do you want to do it in groups? In other words, in three or individually? Can you just tell me. Okay, all right. You just tell me, okay? This is your class, or you have all the opinions that you can give me, okay? So I'm always going to ask for opinions also, okay? So who wants to do it in group? ¿Quién lo quiere hacer en tríos o en pares? In other words, in groups. Who wants to do it in groups? Or who wants to do it individually? Yanari dijo así, pero no, no sé si es group or... En group, ok. Yanari. Yeah, en group. Ok. Vaya, levanten la mano. Or raise your hand who wants to do it in groups. So that way I can, I can know. Ok, Yanari. Ok. Yanari and Francisco, Iris, Fabio, Beatriz, and I, Jarvin, Blanca, Jim Moss, anyone else? Oh, I must. Okay, and Jackie. Okay. All right. That is all. And the rest will be individually. Okay. Falte alguien? Jessica. I mean, I'm sorry. Janari, Francisco, Iris, Beatriz, Jackie, Blanca, Jarvin. Right. Blanca, did you want to do it by yourself? Ve que le escribí aquí como querían pares. No, no, I just put my hand up. Okay, do you want to do it individually? No, in group. Ah, okay, bye. All right, the rest will do it individually, and I'm going to put you in groups, the ones that want to be in groups. Y lo voy a poner en groups. Okay, Glenda, you too? One in group. Okay, great. All right, no problem. Okay, let me see. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Groups in three. Okay, the first group is going to be Okay, Beatrice. 
it is San Francisco. All right, you're in group number one. Beatriz, Francisco, and it is your group number one. And room number two would be Janari. Huh? Okay, Janari. Blanca. And Jarvin. All right, Blanca, Jarvin, and Janari in room number two. And then room number three would be um, Fabio. Glenda and Jackie. All right. All right, enter breakout rooms. Bye bye, y'all. All right, the rest will stay here and then we can do it. Um, Individually for the rest will be Freddy, Jennifer, Miguel, and Rolando. And Flor. The chair. Yes. For for example, elotes locos is a is a culture word. Crazy yeah, corn. I, you can also find it as crazy corn. <laughs> <laughs> I think but, in this in this product, elotes locos. Uh-huh. If it's but, a product, yes, it stays the same. Yeah, okay. okay. It stays the same. I can, I, I, I not change the name. <clears throat> yes, you don't change the name. When it's a cultural product, okay. you don't change the name like tamales, pupusas, tacos. You keep the same yeah. culture word. But, but it's, it's good, but I can, I can, uh, this, this product. Excuse me? I can I can talk about this. this yeah, product. sure. Any product. It's any product. Any product, Rolando. Any product that you want, right? Where are you going okay. to sit and give me your promotional strategies as to why should I buy your product, right? All right. As to why should I buy your product, right? So you're gonna give me okay. a promotion strategies okay. like okay if you buy three you get one free or if you refer a friend have you ever gone to places where some car washes that they give you like a little card and they punch they put a little hole in it uh, and then after you get like 10 they give you a free one those are promotional okay. strategies right you can think about that also right and, and yeah and and the location it could be a shirt yeah a, a what? church church Mm -mm. Yes. Okay. Church. Church. Shirt. No. You're saying no. shirt, camisa. Ah. Church. Church. Esa. Church. Very good. Yes. You do okay. not close the lips. No se cierra los labios. Uh, church. Uh, Eso. Okay. You close. <laughs> sí. Se cierra. Va a decir it's, church. Right? it's similar. Was, yeah. Yes. I, I, it's similar, but yeah, and and. I can see, I can notice the, the difference between. Yes, very okay, good. thank you. No problem, excellent. Thank you, thank you, teacher. Yes, I'm always here to help you. All right, let me see. Jennifer, do you want to work in group, Jennifer? I saw your message. Yes, teacher. I saw that everyone wants. Well, not everyone, you have some here. You have Rolando. Almost Miguel. everyone. Okay, the majority, right? But I will put you. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you something. Who do you rather be with? Do you rather be in group one, two, or three? Um, with Jackie. Okay, group number three then. Okay, I will give you that benefit. Okay, thank you so much. No teacher. problem. Ahí está. Go ahead. Teacher, teacher. Teacher, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Um, how do you say, uh, um, digamos, camisa de jugador o algo como camisa de la selecta? 
Ok, entonces estamos hablando de, de fútbol, ¿verdad? Right? Eh, no, eh, um, voy a hablar de la, de la camiseta. Sí, pero... Eh, uh, Yes, 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 yeah, football. Yes, soccer. The soccer, yes. right? So you can say soccer. soccer, player, shirt. Soccer, player, shirt. Yes. Shirt. Okay. Shirt. Thank shirt. you. Shirt. 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 That's all. Very good. Yes. That's shirt. it. Thank you. Very good. Soccer, player, shirt. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Excellent. And if you're going to say selecta, if you want to be mm -hmm. more specific, you can say soccer players shirts. Son camisas o camisa? Mm -hmm. Camisas, camisas. Ah, okay. Soccer player shirts of El Salvador. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Right. Church, shirts of El Salvador. Eso, very good. Thank you, teacher. All right. Very good. Remember, la selecta es algo cultural de nosotros. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> All right, so you're going to be selling left legs, right? Huh? You're going to be balling, huh? Shot calling, huh? <laughs> you know what I'm getting at, right? <laughs> uh, or do I need to ask something else? No, that's good. That's good. Maybe you can tell us right now, ready? Oh, okay. Okay, I'll start. My product is Netflix. The location that will be selling is in, say, on social networks and commercials. My, my promotion strategies have different offers in obtaining the product. Example, in this first month, the trail, the trail policy is kind of a promotion activity. Oh, excuse me. In its first month, it's free trial policy. It's kind of a promotion activity to build brand awareness at first, and then retain those who subscribe to it. All right, all right, very good. So everything will be, you really don't have a place, like a stationary place. You have basically a virtual place, right? Internet, yeah. internet. Okay, great, great, excellent. Very good, very good, very good. So what would be the price? Well, there's on different price. There's one I think it costs seven dollars for for two two accounts, and there's the other one that costs twelve dollars for four accounts. So you could open it on four TVs for twelve dollars a month, and the first one is seven dollars for for two TVs. That so you could have, uh, let's say, in this case. Uh, let's say if he pays seven dollars, uh, Rolando could have one and Miguel could have the other one. And mm -hmm. he pays uh, 
twelve dollars. It will be Rolando, Miguel. Let's see who else is connected. Floor and your person. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Very good. Netflix. Netflix. I'm watching a series right now on Netflix. Like when I have time, I I watch it. And it's, uh, I, I had a little bit of free time on really yesterday. Breaking Bad. That's the one you're watching right now. Yeah, I'm like in the fifth season. But the one I, I actually got into it, it was on The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead? Yeah. yeah I haven't watched that one. The the other series that I watched for, for a long time was uh, Game of Thrones. Is it good? It's good. Just the, the just that the ending trash. Everything is good to the last episode. <laughs> I was mad, man. I was mad. I was mad because it it was what eight or nine seasons, something like that. Eight yeah. years for that. I was mad. The Sopranos was pretty good, but just the ending, I didn't like it either. It's been a lot of series that I've watched. Bates Motel. Breaking Bad, is it? Hmm? You're watching right now, Breaking Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I, it, I it, on my notebook. Yeah, it's pretty good. I, it's, it is wild, yeah, it is, because it mixes everything, man. It mixes family, it mixes friends, it mixes police, the DEA, uh, internationally with Mexico, and then in Texas and Arizona, different states of the United States, dealing with uh, different, uh, basically with methamphetamine. So it's pretty good, it's pretty good. Similar to CSI, then? No, it's not even close. <laughs> it's not even close. This is way better than that. Uh, way better than, C than CSI. CSI is, is way better. Great to be back. Yes. It's like the teacher, a teacher, a regular teacher becomes like the 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 main man, you know, it's like wow, right? <laughs> yeah, a chemical teacher, a teacher in chemistry, he becomes like the biggest kingpin, right? If you want to say it? So I haven't finished it yet, but I'm in the fifth season. It's pretty good. How many right. chapters? He has? How many what? Chapters. Mm, I think it's. Six or seven, I can't remember. Or is it six? And then he has another sequel to it. But are they short or? Yeah, or they're like forty minutes, forty-five minutes to an hour each. Which one? Yeah, they're pretty short. All right, let me see. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Um, fires, ferias. Excuse me? Is fires, is ferias. Mm. For example, <laughs> the place to sell it will be parks and fires. Is correct the pronunciation? Fire, fire mm. I don't know if, what, can you spell the word? If, please? okay, if, a, I R S. Oh, you're talking about fairs. Fairs. Como ferias. Right? Fairs. Yes. Yeah. Fairs. Yeah, like yeah. Fairs. 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 Yes. Mm, fairs. Okay. Thank you. All right. Let's see. I'm going to enter these rooms real quick. I'll be right back.
Teacher. Hello. Uh, could you help me, please? Sure. I'm here to help you. How do you say batidos o espumosos? What? Milche, I think. Milche. Ah, milche. Different. You're talking about <laughs> batidos. Okay, first of all, uh, uh -huh. batidos. Do, do you add milk? Yeah. Le echan leche? Yes, it's like to okay, milk. Okay, if you sugar, add milk, fruit. if you add milk, then they're I called see. milkshakes. Oh, uh, milkshakes. Okay. Milkshakes. Mm -hmm. If you add milk. Teacher, how do you say auto service? Oh. It's drive through. Drive through. Mm -hmm. It's called drive through. Drive through. Would you mind? Grinding in the chat, the correct word. Okay. Please. Sure, no problem. I will gladly do it. Remember the word that we saw earlier, through? Through? Remember that through? word? Yes. ¿Se acuerda esa palabra, through? All right. That, yes. that, is, that, is, that is here. Drive through. Ah, maybe an hour. Drive through. Okay, there it is. Do you see it, Beatriz? It's right here. T H R O U G H. Drive through. Now, you may also see it this way. Okay, you may also see it this way. Drive through. Drive through. Okay, for short, right? Drive through. You can see it like that also. Don't be surprised if you see it in the United States. Oh, the teacher dijo que era así, right? No, but you can see it this way also, okay? All right? You can see it like this also for short, but yeah. drive through, drive through. And I guarantee you that if you go online, si usted va en línea, le garantizo que va a estar esto también. Tiene que estar allí. It has to be, right? Because I've seen it personally. Así que, <laughs> si no está ahí, dí, dígamelo, por favor, right? Let me know. All right, but this is the way you, okay. all right. That's how they are. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, no problem. And um, could you uh, share, please, the, the, the last, the last screen that, that is the instruction. Okay, this one? No, no, no. The the number seven. Number the, seven. The page number seven. Yes, is the number five. You're five. Oh, you're talking about the strategies. Yes. The promotion. Yes. The promotion. Yes. 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 These are the different types of promotion that many companies or entrepreneurs use. What is an entrepreneur? Yo ya lo esa palabra varias veces. What is entrepreneur? If I tell you, Francisco, you're an entrepreneur. Beatriz, you're an entrepreneur. Iris, you're an entrepreneur. What am I saying? ¿Qué estoy diciendo? I don't have like, any idea, teacher. Oh. What's that? Me too. Okay, I've used it like a few times, right? Entrepreneur, right? Entrepreneur. Es basically, han oído usted esa palabra, el término de aquí se dice, es que ella o él es empresario. ¿Han oído esa, esa palabra? Mm. Que trabaja, yeah. Ajá, que uno trabaja por sí mismo prácticamente, right? Su propio negocio, or something mm. like that. And entrepreneur is that, that same way in English. It's a person that has, that runs or has his own business or her business. All right, and I'm going to write it for you. It's a very professional word, so it's good to know it. Entrepreneur, entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. All right. It means que uno empieza, corre y persigue su propio negocio, right? You, you start, you begin, you promote, and then you run your own business. 
as in an entrepreneur. Como aquí le decimos empresario. Right? So it's a very good word that you should know because remember that if you ever visit or meet someone that is from the United States, a lot of people work for themselves. A lot of people have their own business. Okay, so they say, oh, what do you do? So you know, they say, okay, as you stay. They don't tell you like, oh, I work. Right. I do. They tell you, oh, I'm an entrepreneur. Ya usted ya tiene que saber. Okay. All right. Kind of like the same title that you say, I'm a doctor, I'm an architect, I'm an entrepreneur. All right. Let me stop share. We'll come back in about one minute, okay? I think we're going to continue this activity okay. so we don't rush. Okay? So don't worry about it. Okay. Right. It normally is in a... It's in a parks, in a fair. To say, but but it, but it's a sweet chicken, sweet fried chicken. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Teacher, had you ever tried a uh, Korean food? <sighs> no, I tried Vietnamese food. Which one? No, Sorry. Vietnamese. Comida de Vietnam. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. I got it, I got it. Vietnamese. Vietnamese. Yes. I've tried Vietnamese food and uh, Chinese food. And do you like it? Yes. The Vietnamese some, food? Yes, uh, the Vietnamese food, there were some things I didn't like because they were too salty. Oh. Okay. In the soup? Uh, oh, ah. The soup was nasty. <laughs> right? The soup was nasty because it had too much salt. But the rest of the food, like cooked food and sandwiches, they make oh man, they make some sandwiches. <sighs> wow. Some <laughs> delicious sandwiches, right? They add these different types of uh, vegetables and stuff. Yes. Did were... you try in in a restaurant or some friends cooked for you? No, it was in a restaurant. <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> I ate Indonesia food in Indonesia. Oh, Indonesia. All right. Yeah. Yeah. It's very delicious. Too. I want <laughs> to try Korean food on Korea. Okay. okay. In Korea. In Korea. In Korea. So do they sell Korean food here in El Salvador? Yeah. There Where? is a lot of place. Where? Uh, Tell me. Well, there what? are three that I know. One of the places are in in, in, in Antigua Cuscatlán, okay. eh, next to the House of Mirandas. All right, House of Mirandas. All right. Well, in front, in front of, of House of Mirandas. All right, great. Mirandas House. All right. <laughs> Mirandas. Uh, okay, so right. what what product? Yeah. Do you what product Another do you have? Video games. We, we talk about the video games. All right. <laughs> video games. Yeah. Right, great. Now, we probably won't have time because it's already 10. It's almost 10, like two minutes to 10. So we're yeah. going to continue on Monday so we won't be rushing, okay? So just relax for the weekend. And then on Monday, we will continue, okay? And then we okay. get the presentation on Monday, a little bit of everything, okay? Okay. All right. okay. Yeah, yeah. But I'm going to keep the names of you as a group. So try not to miss, right? Oh, la dejan sola blanca el lunes, right? No, right? No, 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 no. no, no. All right. <laughs> All right. So remember, <laughs> one or two working groups. So I'm watching you guys. Uh, yeah, excellent. I see it. Very good. All right. I'm going to go to the other group and let them know we're going back to the main session. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. No problem. What's up, group? Hello. Well, hello, Fabio. Are you finished? Yes. All right. Great. All right. Now we're going back to the main session. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Fernando will be with with Miguel selling your elotes. <laughs> yeah, that will be next to it. <laughs> Rolando is yeah. elotes locos. My product is elotes locos. 
If you buy a t-shirt, buy your lot for you can enjoy in watching the select. <laughs> I I'm going to maybe I'm going to to sell um um tostadas de plátano to be oh. with you in the study. <laughs> 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 to be to be with you in the study, right? All right. Uh, it's a combo, right? It's I can combo, already, yes. I can already hear y'all, right? A lot of the other one, right? <laughs> and Floor also, right? Well, I'm glad you're here, Floor. Glad to Thank see you, teacher. Okay, we are finished. at the end, but I'm here. Uh, great, great, great. Now I took a picture. I'm going to take another picture of the ones that worked in group. All right. So on Monday, <laughs> on Monday. Let me see. You will continue because I want to make this the last. This is the last of the four, or like we say, the last of the Mohicans, right? And I want this to be very good. I want you to give a good presentation. Okay, so be ready. Remember, we're closing with place and promotion. So on Monday, please be ready to express your presentation to give your analysis and your product well i'm anxious to hear i heard some already right i already heard netflix and Elote locos other types of products right here right with floor going to the stadium right and all right <laughs> be ready for for monday and let me take the final attendance before we leave abigail okay Beatriz. Present. All right, Blanca. Blanca, you were here. Present. Oh, yeah, all right, all right. Brenda. Okay, she didn't enter. Carlos. Carlos Jose. Enter. Uh, Diana. Okay, Edwin. Edwin. Flor. Present. All right, thank you. Francisco. Present, teacher. All right, great. Freddy's. I'm your teacher. All right. Uh, Glenda. Present, teacher. Okay, Iris. Present, teacher. Okay. Jackie. Jackie. I'm here. All right. I'm here. Thank you. Jarvin. Present, teacher. All right. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose. I didn't enter. Miguel? I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Fabio? Fabio? Here. All right, thank you. And Rolando? I'm here. Okay, yes, I can hear you. I can hear you laughing, right? Yes. Janari. I can hear you too. I'm here. <laughs> okay, thank you, Janari. Let me see. I'm here. The person, okay, great. The person that stays today is Edis, right? And remember that on Monday is Jackie, okay, for the extra 10 minutes. Okay, class, you did an excellent job today. Thank you for your participation and, and being a great students as you have always been, right? And I see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Take care of you. Bye. 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 10 minutes that you have extra and you can ask me questions or you would like to see vocabulary speaking this is yours this is your 10 minutes if you have any questions you can ask me also okay okay teacher um i consider that i i have problem with difference with use to and off i I don't, I, I can't identify the difference. Okay, used to and what? Used no. to? Come on. Uh, to, uh, the use to, use to and oh, enough. Oh, enough. 
Yes. Well, enough. Okay. Enough. Enough. I was like, oh, what are you, okay. Use, okay, the two and enough. Two and enough. I, no problem. Donde tengo esa presentación? That was, I should have it in yesterday's. Okay. Okay, I'm going to share it with you because we talked about it yesterday, right? Okay, it is, aquí está. Remember, el tú comes before the adjective. Before the adjective. With enough, el adjetivo viene primero. The adjective comes first, then enough. Then enough. For example, I gave you these. Okay. Remember this? Activity from yesterday? Right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, when we, when we use two, we are talking about that is more than sufficient or less than necessary. Right? Remember that two, in this case, means uh, significa muy okay el two let me put two all right it means muy and enough means suficiente all right o lo suficiente now i understand that when we talk in spanish we use this first and then the adjective, but in English is the opposite. Okay, now I'm going to give you um, You have to look at the context. Okay, you also have to look at the context. Would you use two or will you use enough? Mm. Now analyze the sentence. Okay. Okay. When when we use two, the adjective is Last. It, it's, the, it's next. After. It's next. after. Next or after? Uh huh. Is I am too smart for this job. Very good. Excellent. Right. Yo soy muy inteligente para este trabajo. Right. I am too smart. So you will use two here. Right. Right. Now, what about if I say this? What would that be? Uh, I am smart enough, enough for this job. Very good. Yo soy lo suficientemente inteligente para este trabajo. You see? So you have to understand, but it is that look at the sentence and figure out where the adjective is. Smart. If, uh huh. Okay, so it's smart. So the adjective is here based on the grammar rule. Enough viene después del adjective. So no puede ir el tú, tiene que ir enough. And that is correct. 
right? I'm smart enough for this job. Okay, now I'm going to give you another one. This was going to be easy. Yes, but it, I don't I don't know when I use the two and enough of the the order or rule is clear. Okay. In, well, in <laughs> okay, the thing is this, right? Okay, if that's the case, they are always used with adjectives. Okay? Now, um they are called quantifiers. Mm. Quantifiers or qualifiers, right? Califican o dan una cantidad. That's what it means. If you notice here, it says enough means sufficient or as much as required. Cuando usted llega a algo que es suficiente, is when you use enough, but it comes with an adjective. Ah, se me puso esto. All right, let me see. So if you say, I'm going to give you an example, para que vea, I am happy, right? I am happy, so we have an adjective here, but this is just a simple sentence, right? Yo estoy feliz, I am happy. Yo estoy muy feliz. Lo está engrandando. Mm -hmm. You are quantifying. That's why they call quantify. Porque le aumenta la, la potencialidad. You're, you're increasing either the amount or the quant, in other words, the quantity or the qualification. Qualification, for example, I am too happy. Estoy muy feliz. Mm -hmm. All right. I am too happy. I am. When you have something sufficient, deme una cantidad suficiente que usted tenga. It is, give me a quantity that you have that is sufficient in your house. Cualquier objeto que usted tenga. Digamos de comida, with food. Uh, beans, I have beans and rice. <laughs> right, very good. I have beans and rice. And okay. rice. Simple sentence, right? But when you use a quantifier, you say, I have enough beans. Tengo suficientes frijoles y arroz. That means that you have the required amount o la cantidad suficiente. That's when you use enough. When you talk about mm -hmm. sufficient things. When you talk about um, the correct number or the correct amount, that's the only time you use them. Uh, can you take them out? Yeah, you can take them out. Los puedes quitar, pero se agregan para calificar o dar una cantidad. Suficiente, no más como el two. Es sufficient. Es suficiente. For example, if I, if you give me an advice, si usted me da un consejo a mí, it is, and you tell me, oh, teacher, uh, you exercised a lot, right? Yeah, and I say, yeah. ¿Qué consejo me, debe, me da usted de tomar líquido? How would you tell me? Mm. You, you will, you will drink enough water. Ah, yes, very good. No me está diciendo que tome agua, sino que suficiente agua. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that is when you use them. And we're not finished with this topic, Iris. No hemos terminado realmente con este tema. Mm -hmm. Because I have to show you the nouns. Bien específico de nouns. Enough with nouns. So we're still going to see it one more time. 
Vamos a ver ese tema otra vez. We're going to see it one more time. But it's good to to give it a little bit more practice. If you want, I can send you a little bit more activities if you want. Okay? Please. And, uh, please. I'd be like for practice and get familiarized with the differences between two and enough. Okay? And I will okay, find good. something nice for you, okay? Okay. Okay, it is. Thank you for staying, okay? And remember, if if after we finish this topic, it is y alguien no está en clase or someone is not in class and they don't stay for the 10 minutes if you want you can stay again maybe next week si usted quiere extra 10 minutes one on one and we can practice a little bit more also okay, okay. so that, that will be up to you okay you can get it, it. teacher I have other question right, tell me. But with the platform platform okay i i don't i don't no you say the I, middle time i didn't do i didn't do i didn't do the the middle time uh, but i i did i did it now today oh you did it today yes i can look at it I can look at it. Yo lo puedo ver ahorita. Okay. Let me let me look. It's only going to take me a second, okay? I just have to log in. Let me see. You did section two? And yes. La section dos? Eh, section two? Or, or the, are you talking about the midterm? The midterm. Okay, the midterm. Have you done all the homework, all the platform homework, or just the? Uh... Hizo todo nomás el midterm. Uh, it is. Uh, to all all the homeworks in the midterm. Okay. But I I don't know, uh, uh, what date. We 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 will did the did midterm. Okay, so ya está la nota. Your grade is already there. Okay, your grade for the midterm it comes out here to ninety five. La nota del midterm le salió noventa y cinco. And the homeworks you have eighty six, ochenta y seis. Okay. okay, teacher. So if you want to get it better, you can. If you want to make it better, remember that next Wednesday, I'm going to review some of that in class. So you can have access to maybe changing a few answers, okay? Mm, okay, teacher. Okay. Well, thank you for staying, Edith, and I will find something good for you. Do you want it for this weekend? Para que lo haga el fin de semana, or you want to wait till Monday? And this weekend, please. Okay, great. Excellent. That's all I want to hear, right? No la quería con bother you over the weekend, right? But uh, no problem. Okay, I will send it to you. Okay, Iris. Have a good night. Have a great good night. Week. Okay. Bye-bye.